My Dad 1985. And yeah, these boars are fucking horrible. Uh, first of all, Quebec, the main focus of the video. Yeah, I guess they just helped out the Allies. I didn't keep them democratic, so fair enough. And, uh, yeah, they definitely were quite the service. Yeah, that's for sure. And also, I just realized that they possibly have more troops than the U.S., so, that's great. But then again, I did shrink down the U.S. quite a bit, because Quebec went all the way down to Louisiana and cut this portion off. I was like, how the fuck would they even reinforce this? So, I gave Mexico its old territories, and of course, released my homeland of Cascadia, which, uh, yeah, apparently has gone communist for some reason. And also, yeah, Canada was quite screwed, because, uh, you know the Canadians are doing badly when their capital is in Edmonton. I noticed that at the beginning, when I I was making this, but now it's no longer Canada. The Commonwealth has been federalized, apparently. And, uh, yeah, it's also quite large. Like, up to almost 900 divisions, and look at that manpower. Granted, most of it's probably coming from the Raj, but still. Also, looking at Europe, uh, oh god. Fix the peace deals, they said. The borders will be better, they said. Rezik Republic, what is this? I don't even know. Romania, yeah, doesn't look like it's having a good time. Also, how did Germany manage to keep Croatia and a good portion of Yugoslavia? Huh? And yeah, German Czech Sudeten Republic, uh, yeah, not even a German puppet, but okay. They're just in the Sudeten line, like, that's all they have. They don't even have connecting territory to the Eastern Sudeten land, so I don't know how they're gonna be able to reinforce this, but okay. Also, uh, yeah, Spain now is their capital in Barcelona, although that might fall soon. But yeah, Madrid is occupied by La Mancha, and then there's a bunch of random releasables, like Leon and Salamanca, and then Murcia. Portugal seems alright, although I'm sure they probably lost a good- No, no, surprisingly they didn't lose much of their colonial holdings, at least as far as I can see. Yeah, I, I think they mostly just stayed out of it, so that's nice. Why does Morocco only exist in Ceuta? What? Why not give them any of their other lands? Ah, uh, yeah, Western Sahara, that's gonna trigger them, oh god. Oh no, wait, Morocco got something else outside of Ceuta. They got Ifni. But no, they didn't get any they didn't get any of their actual main territory. What? And oh god, the Middle East. You thought the Middle East was chaotic in our timeline. Just wait until you look at this timeline. Like, France still owns chunks of Syria. Like, how would they even reinforce this Kurdish territory? I don't know. With just Syria right here. Oh god, yeah. And not everyone's a part of the Allies. Even the faction map mode looks horrible. But lo let's look at factions. Uh, yeah, everything's dominated by the Allies. Makes sense. There are still quite a bit of holdouts. And what? European Confederacy. Mostly just... Trabazon. Uh, yeah, that's the only member of the European Confederacy, is Trabazon. Okay, then. Oh, God, and the German borders are just disgusting. Prussia is still here, although they're more Kashubian than Prussian, but okay. And yeah, yeah, I am playing with a mod that adds more releasable states, so just keep that in mind. But yeah, I'm sure that's probably leading to quite a bit more border gore, because for some reason, the democratic AI just loves to release a shit ton of random territories instead of just annexing land. I don't know why. Like, we have the Dawn Republic, Tatar Republic, Mishar Tatar, that is, or Splin 2, just got a bunch of random places, and then Russia, looking like this. Why? Bariatia. Why does Bariatia not even own Bariatia? They're in Irkutsk. And wait, what is this? That's Turkmenistan. Why does Turkmenistan not own Turkmenistan? Like, how does that even happen? Also, looks like Azerbaijan got a good deal out of it. Uh, the t they got the Tabrizi area, which I basically just consider everything Azerbaijan got west of this line right here, and south of, well, actual Azerbaijan besides Talish. That's Tabriz to me. Not just this part, okay? And also, Armenia, why didn't you not give them- Why are there so many places that just don't have their home territory? First, Buryatia then Turkmenistan, and now Armenia doesn't even the, own their home place. They own Nakhchivan and Artsakh, but not fucking Armenia. Why? Also, I guess nationalist China won, and yeah, they usually just evolve into a democracy. And yeah, we have a fully unified China. Well, I mean, besides the concession ports. But either way, yeah, fully unified China, and uh, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> 
Oh, about a hundred million manpower. And also, uh, more than a thousand divisions, possibly. Also, Korea, ironically enough, is ruled by fascism. Even though they were ruled by fascist Japan, who is now democratic. And yeah, I mean, of course, we could have guessed they lost Katafuto. They lost it to the Okotsuki Empire, who was also somehow fascist. But also Shikoku, it's now its own thing, for whatever reason. Again, the democratic AI just loves to release a bunch of random people. No wonder my game is lagging down so much. Like, what are Rwanda and Burundi gonna do? Just get annexed by Zaire? Well, actually, Burundi is part of the Allies, but I don't think they're gonna be contributing that much. And Rwanda's not even a part of the Allies, so they're probably just gonna get annexed by Zaire. Yeah, how is Russia democratic when still 100% of the population is Kami? How's the Soviet Union not been bought back, even in this disheveled form? Oh god, even in 1985, there's still an Italian civil war between the communists in Sicily and the rest of Italy, who is democratic, but also 70%. 77% of the population is communist. Yeah, this is what Turkey has been reduced to, so yeah, sorry Turks, but your country's been mauled. Also, I just realized Democratic Japan. Yeah, I don't think that's Senko-san. Also, I'm glad Cascadia's independent now because, yeah, looks like America's going to be fascist here soon. Yeah, 1988's gonna come around and... Well, the Silver Legion's gonna get their way. Yeah, I'm sure that's probably mostly down here. Still, I guess Ireland is fascist, so if the U.S. gone fascist, looks like they're gonna be teaming up with their so-called ancestors just to take out the U.K., make a great landing spot. Also, it looks like the Polish got mauled, too. Like, how the fuck would they even reinforce Wilno? Also, it looks like all the Baltics can into Nordic, because Finland now owns ya. Except for Wilno and Mamel, you guys are screwed. Ah, uh, hey, we got the Weed Nation, Zaza Stan. Also, it looks like French Indochina was liberated. We'll have to see how the Vietnamese do. I, I don't think anyone really cares about Laos and Cambodia. Cambodia is mostly a mini-me of Vietnam, and Laos is mostly a mini-me of Thailand, which I guess Thailand got got rid of their monarchy, so, nah. Actually, now that I think about it, Cambodia is more like a cross between Thai and Vietnamese to make its own unique thing, but Laos is still kind of a shit version of Thai, because as Uncle Roger said, Laos food like shit version of Thai food? Also, you may wonder why the US and Canada didn't just crush Quebec from the beginning. Well, that's because this time, I actually remembered to remove the cores from the lands I gave them. So, this is no longer core Canadian American land, which means the, they won't just declare war on them, crush them and then defeat the whole purpose of this video but anyways that's pretty much it make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as the majority of you are not subscribed hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one matani